for the final of our CRUD operation, that's actually the delete one. So let's try and delete a document. I'll, I'm going back into the tree view and I can just take a document here and right click it and say delete document and say yes. And it's gone. Very simple, right? So again, let's take the next one, delete, gone. I could also go over here and right click and say remove docu all documents to clear the entire database. I can also go over here and right click and say remove a document and it pops up with this helper setup right here. And let's say that we wanted to remove a specific user. Let's grab this one with this object ID right here. I'll just edit it and steal the ID like this. Let's try and remove that by actually using a command. So it says get the collection of users and remove the ID of, and then we have something here called object ID because if you look here, some of these fields, the ID actually is a specific object ID, which is one of the BSON types we talked about earlier. That's not a normal JSON type, it's BSON. So when I put this in here, uh, I say I want to remove the guy in user collection with this specific object ID and I'll do an execute here, run it and it should pop up and say not that there's an error inside the token. Let's just try again. There we go. Remove one record. The reason it failed was because it only executes what I've selected and I only selected this part and that's not an actual command. So it removed it. So if we run it this again, this guy should be gone now. Let's try and run this one more time. Now it's gone. So you have the full CRUD setup now. We can create an object, delete an object, update an object, and read an object. Let's do it in the CRUD way. Create, read, update, and delete an object. See you in the next lessons where we will dive more into this.